What if I told you that you can now create beautiful frosted glass effects directly inside Figma, no plugins, no third-party hacks? This brand new glass effect feature is now built into Figma, and it's a game changer for UI designers. The glass effect in Figma is available in design mode, including tools like Figma Draw, Buzz, and Slides, wherever design mode can be enabled. But remember, glass only works when applied to frames. If you try to use it on shapes, it won't appear. So always make sure you're working with a frame. To find it, open the Effects panel, click the plus icon, and select Glass from the dropdown. From there, you'll unlock a full set of parameters to fine tune the look and behavior of your glass effect. Adding glass is as easy as applying an effect to a selected frame. Start by creating a frame. Then add a new effect and choose the glass option. Now, drag the frame around to see how the glass effect changes the perception of the background beneath. You can also round the corner radius if you want a softer, more polished look. Since glass is a background effect, you can adjust its parameters to make your UI stand out beautifully. Select the menu component. Click the icon next to the glass label to fine tune the effect. Adjust light, refraction, depth, dispersion, and frost to see how it interacts with the background elements. As you update the main component, any instance of it updates automatically across your design. Drag the frame again to explore how glass dynamically responds to the background. You can apply the glass effect as an overlay on top of other UI elements, and even preview it during prototyping. Start by adding glass, then turn on frost and experiment with different values to get the look you want. For better accessibility, add a fill to the glass layer. For example, choose a white color and reduce its opacity for a soft blur look. Then, from the effects panel, apply a drop shadow to give it more depth. To preview, Select your iPhone frame, press Shift plus Space, and you'll instantly see how the menu bar changes on scroll. 
And here's something truly powerful. During prototyping, any changes you make to the glass effect, like reflection, depth, dispersion, or frost, are instantly reflected in real time. No reloading, no extra steps. This real-time interactivity is the beauty of Figma. Design it once, preview it live. This is the true beauty of Figma. Real-time design, instant feedback. You can layer blend modes on glass to create unique effects. Effects amplified by animated background video inside of prototypes. Add glass effects with frost to UI frames. Set each nested icon to 30% opacity. In the appearance panel, Change the blend mode from pass-through to plus lighter to see how they look against animated video layer background. Select the iPhone frame and press shift plus spacebar to preview it in the prototype viewer. See how the icon colors change based on the animated background. You can smart animate glass between different states. Add glass to the search bar in both of your UI frames. Select the iPhone frame Set up smart animate when tapping the search bar and change the values as you'd like across the two states. Select the iPhone frame and press Shift plus Spacebar to preview it in the prototype viewer. Recreate real-world objects or tinker around with glass effects on frames to create stylized graphic assets. Add glass to the frame, play around with the adjustments, and overlay the frame on top of the snow globe. Select the glass shape. Drag over to the fig pal on the right. When you find the best position, Adjust the glass depth parameter to 100%. Adjust the color and opacity of the shape to fit your own version of a snow globe. Apple had them in their announcement how these sort of things like work. It's really great UI art and teaser art and play with glass setting interesting and how all works. Key considerations for using glass. Available only on frames. For now, glass is only applicable to frames. You can't apply glass to shapes or text. In the future, we will add support for more object types. Corner radius must be consistent. For now, you cannot apply glass to frames with mixed corner radii. All corners must have the same radius value for glass to render.
Glass on glass does not compound. When you layer glass on glass, the background glass will not factor into the rendering of the foreground glass. Glass on a blur will factor into the glass rendering. Unable to export as SVG. You will not be able to export glass frames as SVGs. Glass layers will render in the prototype viewer when exporting as images or using the copy as PNG action. Unfully supported in Figma sites. Similar to SVG limitations, glass frames are not fully supported in Figma sites. Glass will appear on the canvas in Figma sites, but will produce an error when publishing. No environmental reflections. Under some circumstances, Apple's liquid glass includes reflections and color from surrounding objects. This is not available in Figma. Figma's glass is a complex beta feature. While we're actively working to improve performance, users on older computers or those working with complex designs may see an impact on performance. This new feature gives your UI that sleek, modern, layered feel without any coding and without leaving Figma. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest design tips and tools. Follow PX Mentor for more UI UX tutorials, Figma updates, and design breakdowns that actually make you better.